duration of events hello children i am a parrot welcome to this lesson let's see what we will learn in this lesson viewing the sequence of activities and comparing the time taken in different activities Today Chotu's grandmother is telling a story to Chotu before going to sleep. Chotu, the name of this story is Minku and her new friend. Grandmom, who is Minku's new friend? You will know that in a while, Chotu. So once upon a time, Minku, who is just like you, was going to play with his friends on the way he saw a puppy who was very scared mintu went to the dog and picked the dog on his lap tell me what happened then then he took that puppy home with him and at first gave him some water and then some biscuits to eat that puppy became minku's friend and both of them started living together wherever minku used to go he always used to take him along so chotu did you see minku's new friend now come on you should sleep it's too late I will tell you the next story tomorrow. Children, so today you heard the story of Minku and his new friend. Do you remember the sequence of the story? Let's see what happened first. That's right. Minku was first going to play with his friends. After that, Minku saw a small puppy on the way. and then he took him on his lap after taking him in his arms he took him home and then he gave the puppy something to drink and eat and in the last minku and the puppy became friends and they lived together forever so children this was the sequence of the meeting of minku and his new friend The next day Chotu was having lunch with Neha in the interval. After eating food, Chotu went towards his class. And Neha first went to fill water in her bottle and after that she went to her class. Children, what do you think who would have reached the class first? Come on, let's see. Here is the path that Chotu followed. and here is neha's path yes chotu reached the classroom first because chotu went straight to the class but neha went to fill water first and then to the classroom this means that neha had to walk more than chotu to fill the water and it even took some time to reach the classroom children what will take longer in going from one room to another in your house walking from your home to your school you guessed it right children you will take more time from your home to school because you will have to walk more to get there so kids that's all for today in this video you learned order of activities and learned to compare the time taken in different activities in the next video we will see some interesting examples of comparing time taken in different activities till then bye bye children of events Hello kids 
In the previous video, you learned to compare the time taken in different activities. In this video, we will see some interesting examples related to comparing the time taken in different activities. Today, Chotu is filling water in the bucket with the tap for bathing. And at the same time, he is also filling a jug to water the plants from another tap. Children, if both the things start filling together, do you think that Chotu's jug will be filled first or the bucket? Yes, the first thing to get filled is jug and later the bucket. Because Chotu's jug is smaller than the bucket, it will carry less water. This means it will take more time to fill the bucket. After filling water, Chotu watered the plants and then took a quick shower and got ready to go to school. In the morning, it took much time for Chotu to water the plants and he got delayed in getting ready for school. Oh no, I missed my school bus. Because he missed his school bus, so he took out his bicycle and rode to school on a bicycle. Children, what do you think? Which way will Chotu take more time to reach the school? By his bicycle or by his school bus? You have guessed it right. It will take more time to go by bicycle because the bus runs faster than bicycle. Okay kids, that's all for today. In this video, we have seen interesting examples related to comparing the time taken in different activities. In the next video children, we will know about some common mistakes related to comparing the time taken in different activities which should not be done. Till then, bye bye children. common mistakes associated with finding the duration of events. Hello kids! In the previous video, we have seen some interesting examples of comparing the time taken in different activities, right? In this video, we will learn about some common mistakes related to comparing time taken in different activities. Chotu is going with his mother to his grandparents' house by train today. Chotu has come to the railway station for the first time. Mom, this train is so long. <laughs> yes, Chotu, there are lots of coaches in the train. Mother, this train is longer than the bus. It means that it will take us longer to reach my grandparents' house. <laughs> no, Chotu. It's not like that. The train runs faster than the bus. The length of the train is more, but it runs faster. So, we will reach by train quickly. Chotu has just reached home from school. As he entered, he saw both his uncles, aunts and his cousins have come to pay a visit. After coming back home from school, he was feeling very hungry. He went to his mother in the kitchen and asked her, Mom, I'm very hungry. Why haven't you given me food yet? Chotu, it will take some time to cook. Till then, you eat some biscuits. But Mom, why will it take time? Every day you give me food as soon as I come back from school. Then why would it take time today? Chotu, every day I have to make food only for two or three people. But you already know that today both of your uncles, aunts and their children have come, right? So I will need to cook for more people today. That's why today it will take more time than other days. Okay, mom. I got it. I will have some biscuits first and then we'll go to play with Tito for some time. But you call me as soon as the food is ready, mom, okay? Yes, yeah, sure, Chotu. So children, did you see that you will take less time to cook for three people 
and more time will be required to cook for more people so children that is it for today in this video we learned about some common mistakes which should not be done in comparing the time taken in different activities and i hope that you have understood this topic completely and properly bye bye friends